finish that bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> We've been having to wash our teeth. Wash our teeth? <laughs> yep. We've been having to brush our teeth at this tiny little sink in the half bath and it's getting a little old. So all the spackle on these walls should have dried. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna sand all this stuff flat with the wall and then paint it with kills so we know which spots and we can see better which spots need to be filled in more um, and textured and which spots don't really matter. And then the kills will also protect the wall from stains and whatever else it protects from. So I'm not too concerned with sanding it perfect behind here, um, but I don't really know what I'm doing, so. One other thing I wanted to do is clean out whatever this is. I mean, it doesn't look like they sealed that up very well when they put the tub in, if that's what I'm supposed to do. But I know for sure that I want to knock some of this down, so I'll add that in. Okay, so as it turns out, this section here in the shower, the drywall stops right above the shower and they just threw caulk everywhere. So I'm gonna scrape all this off around the whole rim of the tub and then we'll sand and paint like we should and then when we're done, we'll throw a nice bead of caulk on there. And while we're at it, we'll also try to fix some of these high spots in the drywall so it's nice and flat. What you doing? Paint. Paint time. Paint time. Paint time. All right, so we got all the caulk off of the upper side of the tub, and then we sanded a few spots and wiped on the walls. So let's get to some painting. Yes, yes. What you doing? I'm scared. <laughs> You're welcome. This is where we see the change. What? What? <clears throat> Here you go.
I haven't painted a whole lot and I was fully expecting one coat to cover everything up. It didn't. It didn't. So we put a couple coats on and uh, it's looking, oh, it looks pretty messed up. <laughs> <laughs> work in progress. When it's nice and dry, maybe tomorrow after work, we'll come through here and see if there's any spots that we need to texturize so then we can throw a little more coat of paint on it. But I think this is mainly a primer and I think it's kind of like a barrier, like most paints. <laughs> All right, so it's the next day. Let's go see what we're working with today. It looks really good. I think he did a really good job of hiding a lot of the stains um, and old paint that was here. It looks like we still need to do some texturization, which I've never done, so that'll be a learning experience. Um, so I think first I'll do the patchwork and the texturization, and then I'll tape and start the trim work of the new paint. I think we have some small rollers. Yes. I don't really want to get these jeans all painty, so... So that was my first time using a texture iser. I don't know how it's gonna look, but it's probably better than it was when we tore it apart. Hate's a strong word. It's not a word I would use to describe many things. Certain people's driving skills and painting, yeah. So I did a lot of the trim work. I wasn't going to tape the tub. I was just gonna, you know, be be all uh, Michelangelo. Is he, yeah, be all Michelangelo on it. But I don't have enough patience and I don't want to do that. So I'm just gonna tape it and then I patched some of the places in the drywall, like by this light and by the tub over here. So I think we'll come back when that spackle's dry, we'll sand it, texturize it, and then we'll just be ready to roll and do the membrane. That's it for this one. See you next time.